here at michaelrourke.blog. There's a blog by Michael Rourke, entitled Project Pegasus, DARPA. And Mr. Rourke begins, We live in a strange time, where uncertainty about the future is at an all-time high. Political systems are in disarray. Technology will either prove to be our saving or our undoing, and weather patterns are increasingly chaotic. There is, however, one man who claims to have visited the past and future, during which he delivered dire messages to deceased presidents and gained intel from our future government. Having been involved in a CIA time travel program called Project Pegasus, Andrew Baziago has prescient knowledge to save humanity as we know it. And he ran for president of the United States. According to Baziago, between 1962 and 72, the U.S. government ran a clandestine operation called Project Pegasus. This program led to the successful development of a number of highly advanced technologies, allowing for teleportation, physical time travel, and holographic time travel. He claims the program was run jointly by the CIA and DARPA. It was used to contact former presidents, to teleport to Mars, and to maintain a rapport with extraterrestrials. Beginning when he was just a child, Baziago was selected from a group of psychically gifted children to become a time-traveling liaison who would go on to meet historical and future dignitaries, as well as various extraterrestrial entities. Baziago says his father had previously worked for Ralph M. Parsons and his engineering corporation, where he helped develop the technology. When Baziago was brought to participate in his first jump, he says his father had already been time-traveling for years at the Curtis Wright Corporation in New Jersey. Thank you, Johnny Pepperston, for the super chat. Johnny says, What if the military tells a robot to kill, and the robot says that's wrong? Seeing how incompetent our leaders are, I say put the robots in charge. Good one, Johnny. It was here where he first was exposed to the portal he would later use to teleport through time and space. The portal itself, Baziago describes as shaped like two parentheses, curved booms that were eight feet tall and spaced about ten feet apart. He describes the computer configuration from which the portal was being controlled as rudimentary and plugged into the wall with a power cord that would look more fitting if it led to a lathe or a drill press, ironic for a machine capable of tearing the space-time continuum. Upon activation, the time-traversing machine created a vortal tunnel with radiant energy that was capable of bending the fabric of reality. This, en this energy was discovered by Nikola Tesla, whose schematic was posthumously discovered by the government in his New York apartment in 1943. The tech was parlayed into what Baziago calls a plasma confinement chamber, which a user jumps into before being transported to a different place in time. His first journey teleported him to the state capital of New Mexico, though he remained in the same time period. Later in his life, he says he was able to corroborate the Capitol building as a common location involved in the program. From a woman who said she saw people materialize there. He continued this training by traveling just a few hours back in time to get used to the feeling. Eventually, he would travel back to Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, Washington's tent during the Revolutionary War, and even to the time of Christ. He says the government had a desire to check the veracity of the historical accounts of these three figures due to their significance and the fact they have been written about extensively. Baziago also says he traveled to the future, the year 2045, where he was transported to a building made of emerald and tungsten steel. 
There he was given a miniature canister of microfilm to be brought back to the 70s, which contained a wealth of knowledge of every historical event up until then. Not everything is digitized in the future. You may have heard about Basiago not too long ago when he made waves in the media claiming Barack Obama had been part of the same teleportation time travel program as he. This even solicited, solicited a response from the White House, which adamantly denied the claim, though Basiago maintains his position. According to Basiago, Barack went by the name Barry Sotero and was initially teleported to Mars at the age of 19. Soatero was sent on his interplanetary mission to communicate with Martian animals and extraterrestrials living on the Red Planet. He claimed in a speech in 2012 that he has definitive photographic evidence of intelligent life there from a picture of, of, a, from a, picture of a Martian purportedly carving a rock with a handsaw on the surface of the planet. In a past election, Basiago, unfortunately, did not make it past the primaries, though he has future knowledge that sometime between now and 2028, he will either be elected president or vice president. That means he has one more chance, right? Coming up, 2024. Don't forget to vote. He says this information was divulged to him from members with career associations in the CIA. Synchro 505 says we need our own chronovisor, and I agree. In the election, Basiago was unable to get his name on the ballot in all 50 states due to the exorbitant cost of running a presidential campaign. He says it would have cost $5 million, and he couldn't come up with the money. Therefore, he ran as an independent write-in candidate. He has another decade to fulfill his prophecy of landing in one of the two top positions in the White House, with his next campaign poised for the 2024 election. Unlike other candidates, Basiago has posted a very detailed layout of his presidential platform and the 100 policies he intends to enact once he is elected. Much of the platform is predicated on progressive policies, like investing in public education, green energy, net neutrality, and religious tolerance. Excuse me. Judging his candidacy on those aspects alone, he might fit in with most progressive ideologies, though the primary pillars of his candidacy, candidacy are set on revealing that what he believes to be the government's biggest secret, time travel. <laughs>